Welcome to Tax 1099. My name is Leslie. I'm your Zero Guru. I'm going to take you through the steps on how to import from Zero to Tax 1099. So from my dashboard, my home page, in Tax 1099, you want to go to Zero and import, import, then Zero. get started. In your zero account, the first thing you need to do is get your accounts mapped. So make sure that you have um, assigned the your vendors to where you want them to be reported. To do that, you go to accounting. Once you're in your company, accounting, 1099 report, which brings you here. And here you would click edit rules if you need to add more payments or a different rule for NEC and miscellaneous. Once you're done setting these up and where they're going to be reported, you're going to click Save and View Report. This is my report. It's all ready to go. So now I'm, I'm going to keep my zero account open in the tab, and I'm going to go to Tax 1099. Remember, we're in the zero location from going to import to zero. You're going to click Link Your Account. From here, it wants you to select what company. So this is my company. And I'm going to click Allow Access. It's working. OK, so once you're back here, when it refreshes, you'll see that it now has a disconnect button. And from here, you will now select the company that you gave it permission to. Now you'll be able to see it. And click Data Load. This is the import grid. You will see that I have good data. That's my green dot. So if there were to be different dots, you want to click on the name of the vendor or the recipient to fix it. Once it's been updated to good data, you can click Select All and Next. Once you pass this import grid, then your import Port will be saved. Here's my record. I've done this a few times, so this is all I have for this company. And there you have it. That is how you import with zero. To disconnect, we just do what we did at the beginning. Go to import, zero, and click disconnect thank you hope you found this helpful thanks for watching